It don't matter. I don't care if you get another call. I don't care if you get another call. Get another call. Why are you so confrontational? You are coming up here wanting stuff from me that you're not I'm, entitled I'm to. I'm here lawfully. You're, yes, no, you're you. not. Well, maybe because they I called call you. Yeah. You're, you're, you're anywhere lawfully. No. You're I a law enforcement officer. You're allowed to go you anywhere you want. You want to be educated or you want to be ignorant? I don't think you're going to give me any kind of education. Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff deputy. Today's video is brought to you by the YouTube channel, Delaware Defender. If you have not subscribed to his channel, please make sure you go and do so. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Denton Police Department in Maryland. As I said before, I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to expect a paycheck because we're the ones teaching the law enforcement officers the law. As a law enforcement officer, you're supposed to learn the law in the academy, but I'm a witness to tell you, you do not learn the law in the academy. The problem is once you graduate the academy and you become an officer, at some point you should go back and start learning the law on your own. We all know it's humanly impossible to do a job if you know nothing about that job. A construction worker couldn't build a home if he didn't know anything about construction. A chef couldn't prepare meals if he didn't know how to cook. But for some odd reason, our law enforcement officers can be law enforcement officers without knowing the law. Not only are we about to look at a Denton Police Department corporal, who by the way shouldn't be a corporal, not only does this corporal not know the law, He's actually a liar as well. When the citizen requested a supervisor, he tells a lie and say that he's the only supervisor around. But we're gonna see later in the video, that's a lie. And like always, I won't speak too much right now. We'll jump into this video. We'll visit more later. Sir. I'm doing pretty good. It's a beautiful day. I'm from Delaware. I'm just taking some pictures of the uh, exterior of the building. I see it's my appointment on the inside, and I did not make an appointment. So, hey, what's up, man? Did they call you? Yeah, somebody No, no, I don't actually. Uh, are you suspecting me of doing something wrong here? Just taking pictures of the public yeah, building? Right now, making Alright, Mr. Turner. Yeah, don't leave. Hey. Alright, I'll go on the sidewalk. So we can do it. Yeah, that's fine. See you later, man. I'm gonna go right here, 10 feet away. It don't matter. I don't care if you get another call. I don't care if you get another call. Get another call. Why are you so confrontational? You are coming up here wanting stuff from me that you're not I'm, entitled I'm to. I'm here lawfully. You're, yes, no, you're not. Well, maybe because they call called you. Yeah. You're, you're, you're anywhere lawfully. No, you're I'm a not. law enforcement officer. You're allowed to go you anywhere you want. You want to be educated or you want to be ignorant? I don't think you're going to give me any kind of education. I don't think you're going to give me any kind of education. I almost just did take something off. It's not how, this is public property. This. Okay, when I get a call this is a public building. that you are disturbing somebody, How? so here illegally, you make people feel uncomfortable. What a joke. This cop just stated to the citizen that he was going to educate him, but yet he has no clue. You can't kick anyone off a of public property if they have not committed a crime. And like I stated before, most cops are now using the reasonable articulable suspicion to state that they have suspicion, but remember, it must be reasonable articulable suspicion of a crime. But likewise, they're also using the disturbance claim or disorderly conduct claim to either detain or make a citizen leave public property. But let's find out what is disorderly conduct. Let's help this cop truly be educated. A person is guilty of disorderly conduct if the person intentionally and for no lawful reason impedes or interferes with the free passage of another person. That didn't happen. In a public place or on a public conveyance. A person is also guilty of this crime if the person intentionally acts in a disorderly manner that disrupts the public peace. That also did not happen. A person is also guilty of this crime if the person intentionally disobeys a reasonable order given by a law enforcement officer with the purpose of the order being to prevent a disturbance 
of the public peace. A person is also guilty of this crime if the person enters the premises or land of another person, intentionally makes unreasonable loud noises or acts in a disorderly manner that disrupts the peace of people on the land, premises, or beach. A person is also guilty of this crime if the person intentionally makes such unreasonably loud noises to disturb the peace of people on their land in a public place or in a public conveyance. We clearly see none of these things apply. This citizen clearly knows his rights, he knows his boundaries, and he is not violating the law. So I'm confused. What is this cop going to educate him on? It's clearly the cop that needs to be educated. Their feelings don't okay. trump the law, though, so right Mr. Now, Turner. Well, as soon it's Corporal. Okay. Corporal so Turner. I know who I am. And who are you? Well, I don't have a name tag on. I, I, I see that. That's why I asked. <laughs> if you had one, I wouldn't ask you. All right. And we are in public space. Yeah, exactly. So I'll keep talking to you. I'll keep making contact all day long. I have no nothing else to do but to make contact with you. That's fine. You can make all the contact you That's want. That's what I'm doing. I just want to take pictures yeah, yeah, of the public building and be left so, alone. Okay, I didn't well, talk to a single well. person, so there's no way I was causing a disturbance. Okay. Me so merely taking- I just taking... came up here. I just came up here out the blue. Are you a sergeant? I'm a corporal. Yeah, yeah, is there a sergeant? That, no, it's not a sergeant. Who, who else wants to talk to you? What? I just wanted a supervisor. I am a supervisor. Right now. Yeah, I know, but you're messing up. No, no you think you know the rules. Well, am I allowed to be on this property? If I had a camera or not? Let's right just now, let's no. just break it down. No, we're not. No one's asked. I talked to a security guy. He never asked what me to is. leave. He was actually going to give we're me not, a phone number. We're not going to talk about what is. I'm telling you what's happening right now. So if you don't want to make yourself known, who are you with? What are you doing? I'm taking pictures of public property from public property. All right, cool. I do. I, I like to do video tours. I tried to go inside. I asked them before I did. Who, who you talk to? This is guy right there. In the mask. Take a look. See him right there. Okay, we chat. And we, and we, he walked around the building with me, hung out with me for five minutes. Never once asked me to leave. So no okay. one's asked me to leave or said okay. I was doing anything wrong. I, I, have, I have it all on body cam too. I see you have yours on, which is I have, wonderful. I, have mine. I love that. But, oh, okay, but he yeah, never once good. asked me to leave. He was going to give me a phone okay, number for I someone got, I can call. And I got to. a call for service. So they're and lying. Like I said, legally puts me here to make contact with you. And you're failing to make yourself known. And for what? And that raises my low suspicion why you don't want to make yourself mean. Just because a cop gets a call for service does not mean you have to talk to that cop. If you're not suspected of committing a crime, the conversation should be consensual at best. And why is it that every police officer gets suspicious because a citizen chooses to exercise his rights? Because I don't have so to. Therefore, and therefore, you're in public space, correct? Of course I'll I am. I want to be on private property and taking be, pictures. And I'll be in public space with you. Yes, sir, you're you allowed to. to. I, absolutely. Thank you for letting me know what I can and can't do. I was just helping you out. That's correct. Uh, I, don't, I don't need help, though. But, um, yeah, he doesn't want to make himself known, so we're just having a conversation right now. So what I would ask you to do would to leave. Yeah, that's fine. I'll go out there, right there. It, go where? Right to the street, public street. All right, well, if you're in the street, then you're obstructing traffic. Well, I'm going to be on the sidewalk, on the grass. Where, like, see where that stop sign is and the yeah, grass right that, there? I see that stop sign. Well, that's... See that sign right there? Yeah, I'm gonna be, be right by the hell on the see, outside. You, see, you, see, 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 you can't be in the street. So you go on the street. No, I'm gonna be in the grass. If you're Literally, in the grass, right you're still on the property. Well, and I could borrow you if you want to. Well, the street sign on the back says it's dead, town right. of Denton property. Yeah, that's the street. So you can't be in the street. You're not in the crosswalk. You're not crossing. You're in the street. So you're traffic. Right? I'll walk over to that point. So how do I go? How do I leave this street then? This public street. How did you come? I walk down the street. Oh, you can walk back the same way you came. You just, well, you just said I, I can't stand there, but I can walk. All right, Corporal. I appreciate it. Not a problem. Are you the supervisor? Yeah, they just kicked me off the property. What's going on I'm just filming. I was taking pictures of the government building. It does, I mean, that's all. I told the, I mean, the security guard walked around for like five minutes, never once asked me to leave. I had my body cam the whole time. He gets there and tells me I better give him my name or I got to get the hell off the property. Who is that? Turner. Oh, the officer? Yeah. From what I understand, I don't know, because I didn't hear the call. But, but he told me there was no supervisor either, which is straight up. Everything he said was a lie. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I get you. Yeah, I'm just, I'm telling you. I'm not saying you should know any of this, because you weren't there. Yeah, I wasn't. I yeah. had no idea what's going on other than the fact that That's it. Radio it's, 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 it's open right now. I've, it's a public services building. Why can't I be there taking pictures? I think it's because they got called there for 
or something. I don't know. Well, that's all it. He said, if I don't get, I'm making people uncomfortable, but you guys are not the feelings enforcement. So that you don't have to tell me to leave the property. I didn't even talk to anybody. Security guard came to me. We chatted. I told him what I'm doing. He was cool. Followed me around a little bit. Was We were talking about cicadas even. You know, it was a cordial conversation. Then Kerner pulls up and just escalates to no end. And that's why I'm over here. Because he was going to arrest me if I didn't leave the property. And I couldn't stand there on the side of the street because that's illegal to him as well. I would have been arrested for standing in the street. Uh, I think he's enforcing what these people want instead of the law, which is I can be on that property taking pictures. They're open. It's not like it's eight o'clock at night and they're closed. They're open till five. So can I go back over there and take my pictures, please? Yes, you can. It's Thank you. Code. Thank you. Just don't stay on the street because they're technically yes. No, I was on the sidewalk. I'm not. Well, with there being no sidewalk on this road, I can't stand in the grass. The grass is fine. I'm no, he told me I couldn't stay in the grass. No. Do you have complaint forms on your vehicle? No, do you want to call complaint? I will. I'll go get. I'll go to the station later. Okay, good. No, I can take your information now. Nah, I want to go. I want to put it down formally and send it in because that's awful. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, if you want to let him know I'm coming back so he doesn't go hands on with me. All right, guys. So we are back on the property after the sergeant cleared it up because they kicked me off the property. To catch the full video, go over to the YouTube channel Delaware Defender. Make sure you subscribe. And as we see, the corporal, he's a liar. He stated there were no other supervisors, but the citizen found the supervisor who eventually gave the okay for this guy to go back on the property. Make sure you know your rights. Don't allow corporate turners in your area to violate your rights. Down below is a link to my free ebook. You can even click the link above my head. Make sure you download it. It's gonna help you to know what you can and can't do and what the police can and can't do. And for those of you who are serious about learning your rights, make sure you register for my online video course titled Surviving the Police. With that being said, make sure you know your rights. We the People University, signing off.